Okay, I'd like to introduce a new concept now that will be very important for the rest of the course. Um, and I can do so in respect of this circuit that we just solved for. Remember, uh, I drew node 1 red because I set that at unit voltage, and then I grounded node 2, I drew that black. Um, so that, those are kind of like the input and output nodes, if you like. And then the blue nodes kick off current law holds there. And what I did in the last lecture was I solved for the voltages x3, x4, the voltages there, and I also solved for what I called x hat, which is the divergence of the current at the node 1, where I set the voltage to be 1, okay? And it's the divergence of the currents there, which is the, basically the current into the circuit at node 1. And then notice that the divergence at node 2 is precisely the negative of that, and it's the current that leaves the circuit at node 2, okay? Now, look what I'm going to do. I am going to draw this following box around my circuit, and I'm, I'm going to color it in. Okay, and I'm coloring it in because I want to think of it now. I kind of want to ignore the details of the circuit, all those edges and nodes, and I want to just consider the pink box now kind of as a single conductor between the black, the, the red and the black nodes, the plus node, the plus one node and the minus node, or, or rather the, the node set at unit voltage and the one that's grounded. Okay, now why would I want to do that? Well, I, I'll, I'll show you why. You remember Ohm's law. In, when I introduced you to Ohm's law, I drew a red node, and then I guess um, I've got to have another node over here, which is kind of black, or well, you can't really see that. Let me use a different color so you can actually see it. I guess a gray. And what I did was, uh, of course, remember, these were two edges, and I called well, these were two nodes. These were called uh, X and J, I and J. And then I drew an edge between them and I put a, an arrow on it and then I call it edge A something. And it's, and it's got a current W A in it. Okay. And remember, um, when I introduced Ohm's law, I said that the current in edge uh, A with the arrow drawn like that is minus C A, which was some kind of conductance, I called it. It's a property of the conductor, the property of that edge, okay? And then I, and then it was given by Xi minus, Xj minus Xi, okay? That was the definition, just look back. Okay, I want to emulate Ohm, but now I want to consider my pink box to kind of just be a conductor, and I want to know what's the effective conductance of it, okay? If I if I put unit voltage at one node on of that box and then uh, ground another node. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to emulate that. I know the current into coming out of my red node. It's F hat, I've just worked that out, okay? So that's my WA in this case. And then, of course, this is the thing I don't know yet. That's my effective conductance. And then of course, um, the X2 is basically, the X2 is basically my XJ, and then the X1 is basically my XI, okay? But you know in this case, of course, that X2 is zero and X1 is one. So is it not true that uh, this effective conductance parameter that I'm looking for, if I want this to hold, which precisely emulates Ohm's law, then the effective conductance CF, F by the way is short for effective, EFF, -F, um, it's basically the F hat that I just worked out. Okay, so this prompts me to, um, to do the following thing. I can define, so, so this is, so given a circuit and a plus node set to unit voltage. That was node one in my graph on the other figure. And then and a minus node set to zero voltage or grounded if you like. The effective conductance, this is what I'm defining. Effective conductance. I like to use, I don't know why, uh, it just seems natural. CF is the net current out of the plus node. That's, if you like, a definition. A definition 
of uh, the effective conductance, okay? So if you give me a circuit, I can pick a plus node and a minus node. I set the plus node to unit voltage, I ground the other one. And then I have to work out what the current into node one, or divergence of the current at node one is, which is the current into the circuit, and that's the effective conductance. That's the definition of the effective conductance of the circuit. You'll see it's a very useful concept. It allows you to basically a kind of, it's a diagnostic that captures the conductance of a, a, a pink box, you know, where you're, you're, you're cramming all of the details of the circuit into one number, the effective conductance, so you don't have to bother with all of the edges and the nodes, okay? It's actually very important, uh, and we'll find some cool ways to uh, evaluate it coming up.